Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Keela and this is Keela's Corner. And I do unboxings from BoxyCharm. I may continue doing them from Ipsy. I don't know. Um, still thinking about it. But I will do it at least uh, for the month of April. Uh, I also do unboxings from Lashy Box. And I just got a haul from Miss A. From Shop Miss A in the mail. But I'm going to do that on another video. Today, what I want to do now, and excuse me, my eyes are watering. I don't have uh, my eyes done. I have them prepared. And I have my foundation and my eyebrows and my bronzer and blush. I'm not wearing any highlighter. Um, I do have uh, my eyeshadow primer and I set that. And I have some uh, concealer on. Um, got my eyebrows done. Uh, well, I didn't get them done. I did them myself. But um, what I wanted to do today was uh, jump into a palette that I've not used before. And it's a pretty vulgar Nightingale palette. And so I wanted to jump into that because I have... A twist on the smoky eye now I don't know if this is a new technique period but it's new to me so I'm going to say welcome to those who have been here before thank you for coming back if you haven't been here before please click the subscribe button down in the corner and ring the bell that way you'll know every time I do an upload and I am so close to 70 subscribers. And then from there, it's only a hop, skip, and a jump to 100. And if I can get to 100, I'm going to have a giveaway. So, um, it's going to be a pretty grand time. I hope everybody's being safe, but let's go ahead and just jump right into this uh, eye look and see what we can come up with. Okay, so... I am going to uh, be using the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. You can see it's a bunch of uh, blacks, grays, browns, and then a couple of highlights and a, um, a nude type of uh, transition shade. But I'm not really going to be messing with that a whole bunch. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my favorite eyeshadow brushes over here. And yes, they're going to be kind of dirty. But you know what? That's okay. That is okay. Because, uh... Oh. I have a cleaner in the, uh, other room that I'm going to be using. But I figured that I would just go ahead and use what I've got today, even though they're dirty brushes, because I can uh, clean them tomorrow and let them dry. And I can't find my favorite blending brush. Here it is. It was hiding. It was hiding. Okay. Do I need a pencil brush? Why not? Okay. Put all of those back. Now then, usually to do eyeshadow, we jump in with some kind of a transition shadow or a shade. And that's because it helps powder products blend a lot easier so that we don't have rough edges. However, 
I've already got a powder on there to set the uh, eyeshadow primer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in with the lightest shade that I'm going to be using. And that's going to be, well, insane. Yeah, that's that one. That's going to be this one right here. I'm going to go for a brown one today, not a black one. So, now you see me sniffing and my eyes watering and all that. I'm not sick, it's just allergies. And I live in Florida, and we've got some really raunchy allergies going on right now. Our allergens, on top of everything else. So, it's just really, really not happy time right here. But I'm gonna make the best of it anyway. But anyway, since I'm going with the lightest shade available, I'm just going to take it all over my eye, including the crease, and up above. So we're going to cover pretty much the whole eye. And see how well that blended real easily? And yes, it's a shimmer shade. I'm doing a smoky eye with shimmer shades today. <laughs> and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now usually whenever people do a smoky eye, it always goes from darkest to lightest, which would be darkest on the bottom and lightest on the top. However, like I said, I've got a twist. So I'm going to be doing it just a little bit differently. Okay. Now we've got it at that lightest color. Which is what we want. So see, we've got it all right there. Now, I'm going to do a color change on here. Because like I said, this is my favorite brush. And even though it's pretty dirty, it's not going to give me any other color. I'm going to go in and I'm going to start with the next color, which is going to be my darkest color. Doing it a little bit backwards. First we started with the lightest color, getting it all over. Now we're going to go in with this color right here, which is not a shimmer, it's a matte. And we're going to just pack it on on the outer portion of the eye just like that and I'm going to pack it on pretty thick and you'll see why in a moment With these pretty vulgar colors, though, it, it really doesn't take a whole bunch to pack it on because they are very pigmented. Okay. I 
and I'm just tapping it into place. Okay, now I'm going to switch brushes, and I'm going to go for this uh, fluffy moda brush right here, and now I know I look pretty ridiculous at the moment, but don't worry, it's going to come together. I'm going to go into this shade of brown right here and again it is a shimmer and I'm going to pack it on right in the center portion of the eye and I'm going to make sure that I overlap the dark brown part. Okay, now you can see I'm getting some fallout. But some of that's okay. And then the rest of it, we can always clean up with some more concealer. Make sure it packs on really good. Again, there's the fallout. So that's okay. Like I said, we can clean it up with some concealer afterwards. Now, I'm going to switch brushes again, and I'm going to come and get my favorite blending brush. And in between these two colors, I'm just going to blend with nothing on the brush. But instead of blending side to side like this, I'm just blending in little tiny circles up and down. See how that blends right there? And then I'm going to wipe it off just to make sure I'm not picking any color up. And in little tiny circles again, just blending up and down in between the two darker browns. And then we'll clean that off. But you see how it's going gradient from lightest to medium to darkest? And we're just blending in between the medium and the dark right now. It 
Isn't that amazing? Now, I'm going to pick up this other Moda brush. It's a fluffy brush, but it's a smaller one. See? And I'm going to come into this brown right here. Now, it's kind of a reddish brown. And I'm going to just put it between those two with a heavy hand. And I'm going to blend it back out again. And see that? And then with what's left over, I'm going to come in between the lightest and the medium brown with a light hand with that reddish brown. And now I'm going to go between those two. And there's that eye. And it's done. Well, except for the under lashes and the, or for the lashes and the underneath and but you get what I mean. It's done as far as that goes. So I'm going to come back into this reddish brown again with a heavier hand. In between these two. Kind of dark. And just blending it out. And then, with whatever's left on the brush, in between the medium and the light, and again, just blend it. And this time I can take it all the way over and blend the edges. Okay, one more eye to do to clean up. And then Okay, well, now that I've finished the eye look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to finish off my lashes and I'm going to put on some falsies, of course, and I will be right back to show you the completed look. See you in a few. All right, well, here it is, the finished look. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I do have some glitter on here. Let me get closer so you can see. I put some glitter on the lashes. 
and in the corner, in the inner corner of the eye. But there's the finished look of the eye. And what do you think? It's a smoky eye from the outer to the inner. From the outer to the inner. It's darker on the outside than it is on the inside. And it's a whole new take on a smoky eye, I think. And it allows people like me with hooded, severely hooded eyes, or even worse than mine even, and um, people with close set eyes as well, because you could still even go lighter on the inside than I went. And it'll help space your eyes apart, plus it helps with the hood because there's nothing really to separate. There's no color extra you have to make sure it shows up and all that. And it just goes from the outside to the inside. But that's my whole new take on a smoky eye. Like I said, I don't know if it's new at all, but it's new to me. And I like to think that I help somebody with eyes that are like mine or worse be able to wear a smoky eye that they're happy with. So um, right now I'm going to go ahead and close it out. And I'm going to say wash your hands, practice safe distancing, be aware of your surroundings, educate yourselves, stop the fear, stop the panic. All right, other than that, God bless, stay safe, and stay beautiful.